Yo, what's going on, Planet S1 family? It's your main man, JD. Thank you for tuning in. This is Drinks with JD. You ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Okay. All right, Vidi, it's so nice to see you. I'm so happy that you're here. Oh, thank you so much for having me, JD. How, how you been? How you been? Um, I've been good. Yeah? I mean, besides the whole pandemic. Right. Um, But other than that, good in health, working, and keeping busy. No doubt, no doubt. It's yeah. been a while, right? It's been a while. How long? Man. Like 10 so years? years? But um, Around roughly about 10 years, right? Or um, less than that? I don't remember. Right? I don't remember. Sometimes. <laughs> so it might not be 10 years. <laughs> but one thing I like is mm -hmm. that um, we have each other on social media. Yeah. Right. And like with social media, one mm -hmm. thing that I love about it is that <laughs> regardless, even though us as adult friends, uh -huh. you know, who we can't see each other as often because obviously, yeah. you know, we have families and mm -hmm. jobs and careers and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just happy that with social media, we could connect, you know, yeah. and uh, let's say this. Uh -huh. I know yesterday, you and your husband, you guys celebrated an anniversary. We did. How was we that? Um, it was great. Yeah. I mean, we've celebrated so many anniversaries already, yeah. as you know. I mean, I met my husband back in seventh grade. Mm -hmm. I knew I loved him yeah. since seventh grade. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, and then we've been together That's since awesome. then. That's awesome. How long yeah. you guys been married? Uh, 11 years. 11 years. Yeah, don't ask me why yeah. it took us that long to get married. I just feel that I was cheated, yeah, yeah, yeah. right, so many years. So when they asked me, it's like, oh, you know, you met him. But it's only been 11 years, but yeah, 11 years. Now, as far as your anniversary yesterday, mm -hmm. um, how did you guys adjust with, like, the whole COVID stuff? Like, did you guys go out? Did you oh, guys... We did. We actually had a good breakfast. Mm -hmm. uh, we went to Richard's, Walker's, oh, Pancakes, wow. and oh, yeah, it was yeah. really nice. We took the kids. Yeah. Um, you know, normally other people will celebrate just you and your partner, but yeah. we took our babies. That's awesome. You know, our awesome. our eighteen year old and our fifteen year old. That's awesome. Um, and then we went to the movie theaters. Oh yeah. Wow, okay, yeah. okay. What what you guys see? Um a old movie. Which one? And don't ask me the name of it. All right. <laughs> I forget. It was an old one where um John Travolta came out and mm. um the pulp Pulp fiction? Pulp fiction? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. That's awesome. Okay, okay yeah. Okay. Is yeah. that the first time you saw the movie? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. It was I, good. I um, remember... kind of. I was kind of kind of lost for a second. Yeah. Why? Because they have, like, little sections. Because it breaks down. Right? It does. Yeah, 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 yeah. It does. And then I, it brings you back. Right. It yeah, does. Yeah. <laughs> it does. I'm like, what happened? Didn't they just kill him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. then, you know, my husband's so like, okay, this is the reason why. I'm like, yeah. okay. Yeah. Do you like Tarantino movies or... You do you like um, his kind of movies? Because that was Tarantino, how he directed that film. Wow, you're too advanced for me. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know who he Fair is. Enough. Fair enough. Okay, well, Tarantino, like, he did, like, I don't know, let's say uh, Django. Mm -hmm. He did Kill Bill. Um, oh, the girl from Kill Bill was in yes, that movie? Yes, exactly, okay. exactly. So yeah. that was her second movie, or, or she was oh, also okay. in that movie, and they worked together. Oh, okay. But what I'm saying is, like, he has, like, his own style and people just like him people like the director anyway well you know what i like the movie so i'm assuming i like him fair so, enough right? fair enough okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's awesome that you guys went to the movies because i know me mm -hmm. i'm a movie buff and that's something yeah. that um i like to do like i love going to the movies ever since i was little like i would just um go to the movies to just mm -hmm. sit there e either if i'm by myself or if i'm with anybody like uh -huh. i just go and then also i like to also see movies multiple times like i'll go see like if okay. it's a good movie like i'll just watch it like five times you know like either back to back or uh -huh. i'll go another day just because yeah. i like it that much no we're the opposite oh, okay, <laughs> like okay. One, once i see a movie it's like okay you You're know done. and um but you're more like you know my husband miguel he, he likes to really get into the movie yeah. and then like if they say something he'll rewind it back it's like what did they you know yeah, yeah, yeah. and then if i Ask questions, he'll pause it. It's like, ah, uh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, what, what's your question now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he's like that. I, I'm not like if I watch a movie, I'll be like, okay, I'll watch it. It's good. No, no, um, no. and I'll probably watch it like later on, but not like back to back. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. So like years later or something. Yeah. You know what? Can I share a story about your husband? Okay, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I was in tenth grade. Uh huh. And he was. Oh, you guys were in twelfth grade. Yeah. All right, so you guys were a little oh, bit Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so okay. um, you guys were a little bit older than me. Mm -hmm. And I remember your husband 
Um, well, for people who don't know, her husband was my best friend when I was in 10th grade. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and he was a senior. Now, in 10th grade, or when he was a senior okay. in school, you know, he was, he was a cool guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was just a cool guy. You know, even though he was like a sweetheart, he was also intimidating because, you know, people wouldn't mess with him. You know, so it's he was true. just a cool, cool guy. Yeah. You know, and um, and I remember this one time we went to the movies. Right, uh-huh. we went downtown in San Diego at um, Horton Plaza. Okay. And uh, back in the day when it was open. Uh huh. And um, so he was so cool. I guess you could say it, right. <laughs> <laughs> so we we bought the ticket, and I was like, hell yeah, you know, I'm about to go, you okay. know, to the movies with my best friend. You know, mm-hmm. I, was, I was just happy. You know, I was just happy. I was um to always just hang out with him. Mm-hmm. And uh, we were, we went we went inside the theater. And, you know, we just, well, I think we got some nachos, you know, whatever. Okay. And um, he was so cool. He goes, we were about to sit down. He's like, hey, man, um, I don't want to sit next to you. I was like, what you mean? <laughs> he goes, yeah, man, like, we're not on a date. I was like, I know. I know we're not on a date, you know? And then he goes, yeah, man, but I don't, I don't want to sit next to you. You know, I don't want to see I don't want to make it seem like we're on a date. So, um, oh, he, yeah, so he made me sit on the, on the aisle. I'm sorry. After, <laughs> on the aisle behind him. <laughs> <laughs> not even a, a couple. No, no, not even like he's like, no, nah, man, you know, won't you uh, chill with like, man? Nah, like, but yeah, it was just something. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but you know, it was funny because what what makes it even funnier is okay. that um, I don't know if you remember, but the format of Horton Plaza okay. is just like this wide theater, right? So it was just yeah. humongous, uh-huh. right, with like thirty rows, something, yeah. something exaggerated. Mm-hmm. And in the whole theater, mm-hmm. it was me, him. Mm-hmm. Or me, or him, then me behind him. Okay. <laughs> and then like two people up front. So it was like a whole empty theater. He's like, nah, man, I don't want no one thinking we need a date. <laughs> like, dude, like, ain't nobody here. You know what I'm saying? I'm but, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I do have a story of a movie theater, but not with my husband. Uh, actually, that's when Finding Nemo came out. Okay, yes. And yes, me yes. and my sister just decided to take Desiree, my, our oldest, uh-huh. to the movies. And I'm like, yeah, let's have a movie night. And uh, we went and grabbed popcorn. And, you know, she was two years old at, at the time. And um, she was just not sitting still. Yeah. And me and her, me and my sister were just watching the movie. And yeah. we were high up. Yeah. And all I hear is just her rolling down what? the stairs. Yeah. Your baby? Um, yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. I just felt so, so bad. <laughs> I felt so bad. Yeah. Like, literally, she went down, like, maybe, like, 10 yeah. flights of stairs. So that's why she walks funny right yeah, now? Yeah. No, I just yeah. Like, I just like... <laughs> um, I feel so bad because I was... <laughs> I was worried, but I was also more embarrassed yeah, because yeah, the yeah. people were just like staring like, are at you me. Kidding, girl? I yeah. just grabbed her and we left. I'm like, okay. I feel you so didn't even bad. finish the movie? No, he didn't. No. No. Did, you, did you even find Nemo or nothing no, like that? No, oh, no. Man. No, that was the beginning of the movie, too. Yeah, we were so man. into it that. I'm like, okay, yeah, she's playing around, yeah. and like, you know, whatever. Yeah, but... see, that's why we don't take you to the movies anymore. Yeah, nah, I just yeah, like... <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> she hates the movie theaters now. So. No doubt, no doubt. Yeah. <laughs> um, now, as far as, okay, right now you just said you don't, repeat movies right mm-hmm. that you don't go or sometimes you go back uh, but yeah. you're not back to back yeah now do you binge watch anything like do you go back to like another show that you like and then just rewatch it again oh gosh like you on know, netflix uh, on Hulu um, or anything? i normally don't look at you know i i wouldn't look for like a particular show yeah. myself yeah. if miguel's watching something yeah. and if he's on the third season of it yeah, yeah, yeah. i'll start on the third yeah. season oh, oh really <laughs> Oh, okay. So you can get into it like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then, but then I'll ask questions, and he'll hate me for that because um, <laughs> we'll be watching it. Yeah. And we're like, so what happened? You know, yeah. like because I'm so behind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, like, like what? Like what? Like what show so uh, far? Like, the, what's the recent um, one? All Star. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah, I started that like on the second uh, season. Okay, okay. I didn't, you know, the first season, and then uh, Breaking Bad. I think mm. I started like on the. I don't know what season. I mm-hmm. was like so, but I liked it. Yeah. So, so did um, you go back? No. Oh, okay, so, but you did ask him. I did. Like, <laughs> I did. Yeah. Now, how about this? When you guys finished it, mm-hmm. did you at least try to go back? I did, but then you know I knew the ending of oh, the story, okay, okay. so I just lost interest. I'm like, okay. No doubt. Yeah. Um, but no, I wouldn't. Um, I'm more like into, and I think all girls are the same. Uh-huh. More like. Crime. Oh, okay. Right? okay, okay. Just like, uh, <laughs> like wise unsolved, with knives, huh? <laughs> yeah, uh, like unsolved mysteries. Yeah. Um, I do like like the history channel a lot. Yeah. Um, you know, e- Egypt and Aztecs. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. So like 
history and history, of the crime. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. no doubt, no yeah. doubt. And that's so. Uh, do you watch that by yourself? Does, yeah. Does Miguel yeah. watch that with you? Yeah, and then I'll yeah. try to make conversation about it, and he's like, no. He's like, whatever. He doesn't. Girl. No, yeah. no, he's not. Let me get back it. to my Breaking Bad. Yeah, and yeah. I'll be like, do you know this is why? Yeah. It's like. Yeah, <laughs> but he's so nice. Like, He'll just care. say, "Oh yeah, like, you know, like this you're right, crazy. Honey, you're right. You're this right. crazy. Yeah. He knows me already that I'm crazy." No doubt. No, no, no. Yeah. Now let's say for him, right? Because mm-hmm. I know he's a big football fan, right? Yeah. So on Sundays, do you guys watch football together? I'm gonna tell you that yeah. on Sunday he calls it it's his church day. Okay. Okay. And um, he's completely not available to me. Yeah. So even even if we have like any um, you know, family events, yeah. it's my mom's birthday, my dad's even my kid's birthday, yeah. he like, won't. Nope. Like don't even bother me. <laughs> yeah, no. That's he my won't. day. That's yeah, my yeah, day. that's his yeah. day of, you know, watching football. So yeah. I know that I normally some, I sometimes do get upset. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh my god, it's just football. <laughs> yeah. Um but you know that's like, him. Okay, that's okay. him. Yeah, no, I'm not into it. Now no. do you laugh at him when his team loses? I should and, not. <laughs> <laughs> He'll divorce me. <laughs> now, how about this? How about with um, other sports? Like, do you like mm-hmm. do you like to involve yourself with with um, him with other sports? Like yeah, say I love soccer. Or... Oh, okay. Yeah, That's I. Awesome. Uh, you know what? The funny thing is that I didn't really like soccer. Not in maybe a couple of years. Once my son was like in a on a club. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, oh yeah, because your husband also yeah. plays soccer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So not say the first like three years i wasn't into it mm-hmm. and then you know once he started playing more i'm like okay and now like if they're watching like yeah. soccer be like it's immense so yeah, yeah, like yeah, you know yeah, 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 i sure. can you know oh that would have been a goal or yeah. like falta arbitro or sure, you sure. know what's your favorite but, team huh what's your favorite team or what what team do you like well to watch? you know i'm obligated to go to the same team as my husband yeah. which, what is, who does he like uh he likes uh chivas oh, okay and then um I don't know who else, but... Okay, okay. Yeah. But he likes to cheat. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. And you guys just watch it whenever it's Yeah. Going. That's yeah. awesome. Do you guys yeah. go to games? Uh, like to the no, stadium? No, no, but we're always busy with soccer because, like I said, my son, he plays soccer and Miguel plays soccer. And, yeah. you know, we technically always in soccer practice. No, no. Not now, yeah. but... Yeah, yeah, before when, COVID. When everything goes back to normal, I think that's going to be my life again. No, 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 no. Yeah. Now, let's say as far as with COVID, right? Uh-huh. Um, what, how, how have you guys adjusted since you guys have been a family to like be on the go with from soccer to other stuff from even school on work, you know, yeah, how have it, you guys adjusted? It really hit us so bad because yeah. we, like I said, we're always like on the go. Um, Miguel had soccer on mm-hmm. Mondays. Um, my son had soccer practice on Tuesdays and Miguel had soccer practice on, um, soccer games on Wednesdays and my son had soccer practice on Thursdays mm-hmm. and Miguel had soccer games on Fridays wow. and sometimes Sundays my my husband and my son play together wow. in a game so you know it it completely like our life mm-hmm. is involved with soccer mm-hmm. and always busy and it really did hit us really hard like wow. we we're so bored at home yeah um but we're happy now that you know my son is back into playing, you know, at least going to soccer practice mm. and yeah. Is it, hopefully. did they have to adjust for like a mask or something? Oh, uh, well, they have the rules that I guess once you go into like the, the field, you have to wear a mask, but mm. once they start practicing, you can take it off. Yeah. Oh, okay. And, that's yeah, crazy. That would be horrible. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Now, did, did you ever play soccer? Mm, you know, I did. Um, I was a tomboy, yeah. and I remember like the the kids or like the boys around like where I used to live. Mm-hmm. They used to go and uh, play soccer. I wasn't good at it, yeah. but I would try. Yeah. And um, you wouldn't be goalie. You would try to kick. Yeah, I would oh, okay, try. Yeah, I would, yeah, 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 you know that kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's awesome. Um, but yeah. yeah. Did Did you ever try to push your your daughter into sports? Um, she actually did uh, two years soccer and volleyball. Oh, yeah. So, but uh, no. <laughs> no, yeah. she loves playing soccer though. No, no. But um, now that she's old, she's more into you know working and making money. Okay. You know when you're at that age, oh, it's like course. money. You of know. Course. <laughs> it's it, right. <laughs> I know yeah. eighteen. Yeah. You know, yeah, that's all you want to do. Yeah, right? money, money, yeah, money. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. All right, Vidi. So me and you, mm-hmm. we know each other. Yes. Right. Now, please introduce yourself to Planet SON. Let them know who you are and also what you do. Yep. So my name is Vidi. And I'm the creator of Inspirations by Beatty. And technically, you know, I do 
a couple of different things. Mm -hmm. I make custom cups, mm -hmm. and which you'll see here. Uh, they're Starbucks custom cups, and I also make resin items. That's awesome. Let's see, like this. That's like amazing. Things. That's amazing. Um, and that's pretty. And I also sell shirts. So pretty much a lot of things. We gotta get these coasters. You also make these nice coasters? Yes, yeah. yes. These are really nice coasters, actually. I have a mold, uh -huh. and so what I do is just, you know, I put uh, color in it and then uh, design it. That's awesome. Can we use them now? Yeah. Yeah. Let's all go right. Ahead. Cool. Very nice. There you go. There you go. It looks even better. Right. Yeah. <laughs> a pop of color. <laughs> now, uh, what inspired you to get into this business? Uh, so there's a backstory to this. Okay. So um, I originally gave an idea to my friend, my mm -hmm. coworker. Um, we had a meeting at work and it was not the greatest meeting. Mm -hmm. So um, we started brainstorming and we said, you know, why don't we just have our own business? Yeah. Why are we here? And, um, you know, I gave her the idea. I said, you know, you should make ears. And she said, oh, I should. And then the next day she's like, you know, friend, I'm going to make ears. I'm like, oh, wow, mm -hmm. cool. Um, and you know, she went into making mask, mm -hmm. um, and then she's like, you should open your shop. And yeah. I said, oh, I should. And, um, one day I remember seeing this girl making Starbucks cups mm -hmm. and I bought my machine. I had it there and I just made a design and posted it on Facebook and mm -hmm. say, Hey, selling these. But technically I was just playing around. I wasn't yeah. really thinking of selling them and, yeah. until I got a lot of messages and like, Hey, how much do you sell them for? I'm like, Oh, well, you know, maybe this is what I should be doing. And it just, it's just all story after that. So right now you also mentioned a lineup of what you offer, right? Mm -hmm. Can you go step by step of, of what exactly you offer? Cause you mentioned shirts and these amazing cups. Can you also um, elaborate a little bit? Yeah, of course. So I started making cups, yeah. you know, that went really well. Um, and actually my daughter came home mm -hmm. and she said, you know, I saw my friend, uh, making keychains. Maybe you should start making keychains. Oh, wow. And I said, yeah. well, maybe, but she was so into it. She's yeah. like, you know, and this is what, you know, what I see and maybe you should do it. Yeah. And I said, wow, maybe you should do it. Yeah. <laughs> you want me to do it. Maybe we yeah. should do it together. She's like, no, 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 I'll help you. So I bought all this stuff. And technically, I wanted to sell keychains. Mm -hmm. um, but then I started looking into it, watching YouTube videos, and I saw a lot of people that were selling more than just keychains mm -hmm. with resin. And, um, you know, I when I actually joined a couple of, of groups in Facebook that, you know, resin making, and I got a lot of ideas from them and um, actually just put it together and say, well, this item will look better with this. Like, mm -hmm. you know, like the my letter here, I added the lights, right? Yeah, and that's I'm like, amazing. Well, yeah, I just said, well, you know, I'm pretty is, sure. You know what, one of the, this is an item that, that I got. I was like, just infatuated with it, right? <laughs> right? And I was like, oh, I have to have one of these. And uh, can you talk to me about how you make this? Yeah, of course. So um, the molds, mm -hmm. actually, I, purchased the molds and those came all the way from Australia. Oh, wow. <laughs> the, other the molds. Were, the molds. Yeah, oh, wow. they throw their molds. They're like a letter mold and yeah. um, they were special made for me. Mom. And um, so you I said just, you added the lights. Yeah. Yep. So uh, of course, you just I just make the resin, mm -hmm. a batch of resin and then just, you know, put the uh, flowers inside and then I put the lights inside and, you know, anything, any item that I want to include and then, you know, wait. Uh, technically 48 uh, 48 hours for it to be wow. fully cured yeah so those those do take a long time to make um so that's why on you know making time i think when you order those it, it says three to five businesses just mm -hmm. because the process is pretty pretty long of course of course yeah. like making it from scratch yeah mm -hmm. well so what made you want to put the lights in it i just like they're so pretty i mean any yeah. girl likes you know lights so for sure. um when I came up with the idea, I just mm -hmm. said, oh, you know, what will look cute in yeah. your, you know, vanity? Yeah. You know, every girl likes a cute area where you're doing your makeup, right? And I said, oh, well, you know, lights. I don't know. I just said, oh, lights will look great and everything. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, uh -huh. um, when I was uh, looking on your website, mm -hmm. um, I also saw that you offered it in different colors. And I was like, oh, I have to have the rose gold, you know? Um, yeah, how, yeah. What, what other colors do you offer? Uh, well, 
I love the rose gold mm. and I love it when people do offer yeah. to get the rose gold. I also offer it in gold. Um, that's pretty much it. But if people, if you do want it to have it customized and like maybe add a different color, like a pop of color, mm. like pink, I could add pink in it too. That's awesome. Oh, this is my little teddy bear. That's I also awesome. added lights to it. Yeah, oh, so, okay, so, it. so let's say this, right? So let's say as far as the letters, the letters you offer all 26 letters. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. I do. And they're all capitalized? Or can someone get like. No, they're all capitalized. Okay, they're yeah. all capitalized. And the same size. Okay, yeah. okay. And this is what, like okay, six inches? Uh, four, four okay. and a half, five. And, and so, other than these, the letters, you also offer this. Yeah. Okay, and um, yeah. Do you, is it just this mold or do you have other animals? Um, no, just my little teddy bear That's right awesome. now. That's I awesome. should probably add more. Right, uh, but little by little, we'll get there. I'll it, add the whole suit next time. And, uh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> pretty so, soon, that suit is this right? coming pretty soon. No, you're right, you're right. Is this also a mold from Australia? Yeah. Wow. No, no, actually, no. That mold I bought um, from Amazon. Okay. That's cool. That's <laughs> yeah. so cool. And so the people want this after they saw this? Yeah, actually, okay. I just got a big order. Mm -hmm. um, and um, the customer actually bought a letter. They also bought the goddess. Wow. I think she's very sexy. Yeah, no <laughs> yeah. and um, they order that and they also order some other item that I have in my shop. And it's just, yeah. it's just pink or is it other, other stuff? I could add, add other different colors to it. Wow. Um, I, one of my best sellers is a makeup organizer, which unfortunately I don't have here, but uh, that's my biggest seller. A makeup organizer. Makeup organizer. Okay. It's pretty big and it has exactly like this, but mm -hmm. a makeup organizer and it has lights too. That's awesome. Yeah. And um, so other than those four, which is the animals, the mm -hmm. goddess, the letters, and the makeup organizer, what else can you light up? Um, well, technically, if you want to put lights in whatever you yeah. want, I could probably do it. Yeah. Um, you know, I do take custom orders too. And in my shop, I actually do have, say, if you have an idea... You know, and you want to bring it to light, just let me know, reach out to me, and I could see what I can do for mm -hmm. you. Because that's the best thing, right? If your clients or your customer, they trust you and say, mm -hmm. hey, you know, I want to do this, can you do it for me? I never say no, mm -hmm. right? Even though, even though I probably don't know what I'm doing, yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. say, okay, yeah, yeah, like, you know, this is what I came up with. Same for my cups. I do custom cups. Um, I do shout out to my one of my. Um, my number one customer, mm -hmm. um, she has ordered like seven, eight items wow, for me. Yeah. Um, and they're all custom made. Mm -hmm. um, she'll say, you know what, um, let me, um, I need some like a workout cup, mm -hmm. you know, and she trusts me all the time. Mm -hmm. And I do have like a lot of customers that do reach out and say, hey, you know, That's can amazing. you do this? Yeah. I would say yes. Yeah. <laughs> now, what's, what's, the, what's the craziest thing you got asked to do? Like to custom um, make? Uh, or maybe see. let's say this. What's the toughest one? Um, you were just like, man, it just took me a while to just do it. You know what? Uh, just designing it and yeah. putting it together in my head. Okay. Um, I had one uh, that uh, they asked me for, um, you know, I think the person has like a YouTube channel mm -hmm. and they just gave me the name of it. Mm -hmm. um, and I would just try, like I went to that person's website and, you know, page and saw it and like okay I think this is will look good together and just putting it together mm -hmm. and also putting like the design on the cup it's like mm -hmm. okay because if I put like something that doesn't go like on the spot yeah. like it would not look nice mm -hmm. um but yeah I also do get a lot of ideas because I mean there's a lot of people selling cups so yeah. sometimes I do get ideas from other people and just twist it um to make it my own for sure for right sure. Mm -hmm. that's awesome so earlier you mentioned about shirts. Yes. Can you talk about your shirts? I just started selling shirts. Okay, okay. Um, the idea came from um, this girl that started selling Bad Bunny shirts, mm -hmm. and she was very successful. Uh -huh. And I said, hey, I can do that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, this is what I think you should know about me. Mm -hmm. um, that if I see something, and be like, hey, I can do that too. Yeah. Like even with, you know, making cakes. Yeah. You know, because I remember one day I made like a, this Hello Kitty cake for my daughter. Mm -hmm. It's like, I know, I know I can do it too. Yeah. So then I'll try, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, instead of me buying it, I'll try to make it. Right? If sometimes it doesn't work out. Mm -hmm. But, um, and 
you know, she started selling shirts and she was really good. And I was like, oh, you know, maybe I should start. And um, I started selling Bad Bunny shirts too oh, wow. and made it like my design, like, uh, you know, what I thought it looked nice mm -hmm. together. Yeah. Um, and I just started, you know, looking into what else I could sell. And I started adding more shirts to my shop, mm -hmm. uh, which reminds me, yeah. I have a gift here for you that i made okay okay there you go <laughs> okay yeah that's for you go thank ahead you. and open thank it thank you this is awesome this is awesome okay you should read what it says okay hello i'm what you've been looking for there you go <laughs> <laughs> you've got great taste and you know what i do got great taste okay okay this is for me yep let's see Oh, wow. Okay, so first comes with... The instructions, the, instructions. the care instructions for the... For and this is also included get... with all your stuff? Yes. Okay. That's awesome. Okay, so it comes with my instructions on mm -hmm. how to take care of it. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. I put that together for you. Okay, wow, I, this I, is amazing. And just to let you know, it's reflective. So if you want to, if you have a flashlight yeah. and take a picture, like it's... It's it really pops. nice. Yeah, oh, yeah, wow. yeah. Oh, wow. So I'm going to show it off. Wow. Can you guys see? Like, plan of SLN. Okay, I wish we could have, like, a camera so they would see, like, a flashlight. Let me flash see. What if, what if the light? What if the light? Can you guys see it? What do you think? Does it get it? If we awesome. take a picture, it just That's pops amazing. Out. Yeah. Thank you so much, VD. I of appreciate course, it. Of course, of course. It's so cool. Now, now, as far as your line, you also offer this? I haven't started taking custom orders. Okay. I actually just made, um, but I love designing actually. So okay. I, I think it might be an option that I should be offering pretty soon. This is amazing. This mm -hmm. is amazing. And you could also offer the reflective. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Very unique. The reflective. One. This is amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate course. it. You're Thank welcome. you so much. You're now, welcome. um, as far as with the shirts, is it just uh, the Bad Bunny theme or do you also put something else on so, it? So uh, just to let you know, like again, I just started with the shirt. Mm -hmm. So I have so many ideas in my head that I want to do and I just have to make some time and create it. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Because even for my cups, I have so many ideas mm -hmm. and so many for my resin that sometimes it's really hard for me to say, okay, which one should I make? For sure, for sure. Um, but I, the holiday, you know, Christmas is coming around the corner, so most likely I'll focus more on my cups because, you know, they want to buy, like, you know, Christmas cups. Um, and I don't know what else, you yeah. know. No, no. No, I will come. <laughs> now, one thing that I appreciated from you, mm -hmm. right, was um, I remember when, when I got this, mm -hmm. right, um, you told me that it took a little, just a little bit longer because you wanted it to be perfect. So you had to, you yes. wanted to redo it. Even though um, it was perfectly fine the first time, you were like, you know what? I just want to make it perfect. Now, that's something that st stood out to me mm -hmm. because there's a lot of people who create something and then they don't actually put their heart and soul into it. You know, and I just feel like you do that. I don't feel like it's because um, you're trying to, I don't know, let's say be a perfectionist and you try to mm -hmm. beat yourself. But if you put your, I, I, I just took it as in, you know, VD is trying to, put her heart and soul into her products. Yes, of course. And um, do you do that with other stuff? Yes. So I have so many, pro like I have redone so many things mm -hmm. and I have so many um, uh, items that they're nice, but not like how I wanted. So mm -hmm. those items, I they're still really nice, right? Yeah. Um, I tend to give them um, you know, as appreciation to my customers. Mm -hmm. So say that they spent like a hundred dollars and I have an item that it's really nice, but it's still, you know, not what I, um, I tend to, you know, put it as a, as a thank you. Oh, no, for sure. Right? For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Now, how do you juggle from being a working wife, right? Mm -hmm. A mama and now a small business owner? Oh how do you gosh, juggle David. That? So, I'm going to give you my routine. Okay. Um, I wake up at five, um, pack my husband's lunch, and I literally start work at six in the morning mm -hmm. um, because I, the hours that I work are Eastern time. Mm -hmm. um, 
I work for a broker dealer um, and you know the advisors that I work for they're in um, Eastern Time. Okay. So um, I start from 6 to 2.30 and then after 2.30 I go on my second job. Mm -hmm. uh, right now I'm working from home mm -hmm. um, so it's really easy for me to you know uh, you like know, transition yeah, from the, the yeah. full time to like what you want. Yeah. To, yeah, and then take care of my son too. So if For he's sure. hungry, I mean, he's not a baby no more. Mm -hmm. uh, the but only still, thing that I have baby. to he's your baby. <laughs> the only thing that I have to worry about is making sure that he eats and he can eat a lot. Let yeah. me tell you that <laughs> he's ready to yeah. eat at eight in the morning. Uh, he's yeah. already BD. Are you gonna make me food? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and you know, he's always ready for a, a mid snack yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> around twelve or so. <laughs> Mama, then, I'm hungry. Right, yeah. right. So then, once I get off from work at two thirty, I literally just move from you know my desk mm -hmm. to my other area where I make my my other stuff. You know, for my for my shop, mm -hmm. um, and then I have a. A window in between because my husband doesn't get home until 4.30. So 4.30, I know that I have to be ready because pretty sure he gets home hungry. Yeah, yeah. So then, you know, I'm, I cook. Um, so the good thing is that we don't have babies. Mm -hmm. So I have more time. For sure. Right? So versus, you know, if you have little ones, mm -hmm. you know, they need a little bit more attention. Exactly. Um, and I'm trying to... You know, maybe like set a schedule too for mm -hmm. my shop too, because you know I don't want to just focus on that, and mm -hmm. you know I want to focus on my family too. Yeah, of course, because so. it also takes away yeah, from I, certain certain things mm -hmm. from either your career, your family, because we all gotta maintain and yeah. manage all that. Yeah, you know, we all gotta know how to juggle it. Yeah. So as we know, mm -hmm. it can be hard to juggle every single aspect in life, mm -hmm. right? Now, what encouraging words do you? have or can you give to Latina mothers and wives who want to start a small business after their career and their family life? Oh man, just go for it. Yeah. You know, I, I'm so happy that I, you know, just decided to open my shop. Mm -hmm. um, let me tell you that sometimes it could take years for you to, you know, reach a certain sale, but mm -hmm. do not give up. Mm -hmm. And most important, do not compare yourself with other sellers mm -hmm. because I've seen um, other sellers that, you know, go viral, mm -hmm. you know, on Instagram, they start selling a lot of cups yeah. and um, you're here, you know, making like, you know, like one sale here and there. Mm -hmm. Do not compare yourself, right? Just keep on going. Um, you know, that's all I can say. Mm -hmm. um, I've been lucky that you know, when I started, I got a lot of support from my friends. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it's been good. So I started in June mm -hmm. um, and while we're in November. So I made a decent amount of money already. Mm -hmm. Right. So never be scared. Never be scared and uh, just go for it. Mm. Yeah. And good. then, you know, I'm also happy to help. I've had a lot of people that started following me. Um, I had this girl that reached out to me and say, hey, I love your product and I want to start opening my own store. Mm -hmm. What do you think? And you know what? I sent her all my notes. Mm -hmm. I said, you know, you need this. You need this. I recommend that you join these groups. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I advise you to go here, mm -hmm. you know, and these, this is what you need. And she was very, very thankful. I don't think she was expecting that from mm -hmm. me. And I said, you know, if you need any help, just reach out to me. I'm happy to answer questions. That's awesome. Yeah. That's and amazing. Yep. So if you need help, there you go. reach out to me. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, this right here, I, mm -hmm. can you say, oh, I'm going to say. Okay. It's beautiful art. Yes. All right. It's beautiful art. Now, have you always been creative? <laughs> have you always been like the artistic person? You know, my dad is very artistic. My dad, he yeah. is. And I never knew I had it in me yeah. <laughs> until now. Really? Right? Uh, uh, people are saying that, you know, this whole pandemic mm -hmm. brought the creativity, yeah. right, yeah. on people. And that's what happened to me. That's awesome. That's, right? that's, that's amazing mm -hmm. because sometimes I've heard that, let's say, where either people are in a situation mm -hmm. where they feel like, they're trapped. Sort of like us. We were in quarantine. Yeah. Right? And um, some people can feel like their creative juices aren't flowing. Yeah. You know, where like people can't make music. People can't uh, write. You know, mm -hmm. people can't do anything. 
you know, but it's so cool that you were still inspired. And it amazes me how, you know, you, you created a whole business yeah. while we were all locked down. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can say that I did it all on my own. I definitely had the support of my husband and my kids. Sure. Like I mentioned, my daughter was the one who pushed me to, you know, start doing resin. Um, you know, or else, you know, I would have just been doing cups, right? Yeah, but yeah. yeah, you definitely need that family support. That's awesome. Yeah. Now, obviously, you went from cups to now you moved on to mm -hmm. even shirts and obviously everything in between. Yeah. Now, do you have any plans for the future? Yes, I do. Like, what kind of products do you want to start? Yeah. Um, I don't know if I was, I don't want to. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, because so those are still. We'll, we'll leave that for, yeah, for yeah, anticipation. Yeah, I definitely do have something big coming up. And okay. uh, those are my goals, right? Okay. So this, I'm making this, and but the future, I feel that will be brighter. Mm -hmm. Um like I wish I could say more, yeah, but I yeah, I do have, you know, a lot of goals mm -hmm. and um, hopefully I'll get there soon. That's awesome. But, that's yeah, awesome. yeah. Now, definitely another business coming. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, now, um, as far as you know how you just mentioned how people could contact you, mm -hmm. now where, where can they contact you? Oh, yeah. I can be reached at uh, my Instagram account, which is Inspirations by Vidi. Okay. Um, mostly there. Um, yeah. and I love TikTok. Yeah, I don't have yeah. a lot of followers. <laughs> What's your TikTok? What's your TikTok? Um, oh gosh, it's a random one. It's okay. like my name, yeah. dot, and then like, and my, and like a whole number. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. We'll, we'll put it on there. We'll put yeah, it, yeah, when, yeah. It, when I edit this, we'll. Yeah. Yes, I don't have a lot of followers there. <laughs> okay. Okay. But if you ask my husband, yeah. he could tell you that I'm always on TikTok. I don't yeah. know. It's just so time consuming. Okay. <laughs> right? Like, like people are yeah. so creative. Yeah. Um, oh, because I'm like on the, I guess whatever you search for. Yeah. Like it, it comes up, right? Okay. Um, so I'm like, like on the business, get you. Yeah, 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 I'm on the business side of TikTok, but then mm -hmm. I have like random videos that come up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the other day, me, me and my husband were just laying down on bed and mm -hmm. we were just like going through videos yeah, and we're yeah, just yeah. like laying there because he doesn't know. Yeah. He doesn't have TikTok. So oh, okay, okay, okay. I, we, I, I, I was just like laying down and we were just like both like, and it's like, now you can see why it's so addictive. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> now, other than, other than social media, mm -hmm. how can they purchase your items? Oh, yeah. So I, it's very important. Uh -huh. Well, I felt that it was very important to make sure that I had, um, you know, like a page to go to. Yes. So Etsy helped me with that. Um, okay. So I do have my Etsy account, mm -hmm. um, which that's where I route all my customers. So okay. when they reach out to me on Instagram, I always send them my, the link to my Etsy page. It's mm -hmm. just Etsy. Um, I think it's www.etsy.inspirationsbeauty.com. Okay. But awesome. we'll put it there too. Yeah, we got you. Yeah. We'll, we'll put it out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, here, here. I don't right, know where. Right. Uh, here. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Yeah. Now, um, how do you advertise? Do you advertise on social media and also through your website as well? I, I do. I do. And um, I'm going to give you guys a tip. Okay. So if you guys want to, you know, um, open your business. Um, so Instagram and Etsy does uh, offer advertisement okay. um, that you can pay for. So I sometimes like when I make a new item, I, not all the time, but most of the time, well, that doesn't, that just contradict yeah, it, but yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, it's all good. <laughs> uh, um, you know, once in a while yeah. I'll pay for advertisement and mm -hmm. that will route people that, you know, so say that if I put a Starbucks in mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. like anybody that's looking through Starbucks, you know, my you advertisement. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. But, um, pretty much it's, it does a lot of work. They okay. do. I mean, it's just a big platform and people just go in there and type whatever they're looking for. And then, you know, I mean, you're your business will come up that's um awesome. and i do attend to advertise a lot through there and that, that's helped you out yeah and you see a lot Tremendous. of yeah you see a lot of traffic coming through yeah you? definitely um barely yesterday i had um eight sales oh wow and they were pretty big ones too yeah. wow yeah just from yeah. your advertisement um to... well i mean yeah okay. and then people just it's, it is around christmas time for sure, for so sure. people are already christmas shopping okay so if people want to get this before christmas oh now, yeah make sure that you guys shop ahead of time because... okay for sure now yeah how, how far ahead do they have to um, contact you? well I, like i mentioned you know resin is takes a little bit longer to make so okay you know just make sure that you yeah 
Don't, don't go shopping on December 23rd and expect it the next day. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, At least by December 1st. Yeah, yeah, right. please do. Okay, <laughs> Give me enough time. Well, maybe at December 15, you know. Okay, okay. Um, but also keep in mind that, you know, the post office is always busy too. For so sure. keep that in mind. Now, how about when you have to mail stuff out? Like how, how hard is it or how tough is it? What's the process? No, so, like I said, it's the... It's, uh, great platform so i they offer um you know for you to buy your shipping through them mm -hmm. um so when an order comes in i just click like the button and say that i want to ship it out put mm -hmm. the uh, you know how much it weighs and then it generates it oh, charges wow. me yeah um and then generates the the receipt um, or the, the shipping yeah. receipt mm -hmm. oh wow yeah it's and then pretty you just good. ship it out yeah and that's yeah. it yeah like that yeah that's and awesome pack you know pack everything on yeah. nice boxes i just ordered cute boxes too yeah. she brought them but yeah. i also bought christmas boxes there they're you go. so cute so you know how we mentioned the holidays are coming right yes. now can, are you offering a black friday sale or a christmas holiday sale i am and i actually created a code just for you okay, okay. jd okay so the code is jd10 okay uh, make sure that you guys use it okay. um it's available through november and december uh -huh. um and that will give you a good discount there you go <laughs> jd10 go to vd's website and get that 10 mm -hmm. so uh, yes. buy her awesome things and uh, hopefully you got some some cool shirts but if not buy her awesome things that'll be amazing <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> now before we uh close it out do you have any shout outs yes i actually do um i want to say Thank you, JD, for having me. Thank, thank, you, thank you for the producer, Tanya, who's thank amazing. You. Thank you. My husband, definitely, and my kids that, you know, they are always there for me. Um, and I sometimes neglect them because uh -huh. I'm busy. Yeah. <laughs> so shout out you to them. You were the mama. You were yeah, the mama. Yeah. yeah. And uh, definitely my customers, man. I swear if they believe in me, mm -hmm. right? And I just want to thank them all mm -hmm. for their support and you know the future is bright and watch out for more items to come go. there you go and awesome 316 right? <laughs> yeah <laughs> you guys do that in the outtakes you guys do that i, I <laughs> just want you know i used to watch wrestling too okay, okay. The rock, <laughs> there you go you there know you go. i used to hate the rock <laughs> <laughs> well because you know we all love stunk on steve for austin sure, for sure. so that was my favorite shout part out. shout you know? out so stunk you used to you know <laughs> get all crazy we know with his beers <laughs> there you go there you go <laughs> we can do that with the coast yeah, right we do that with yeah. the coast there you go well thank you vd so much for joining no, us no thank you so much I for having it. me thank, thank you. you so much it was very very nice to see you nice thing you too <laughs>